The Newton Teachers Association and the Newton School Committee's bargaining teams agreed to a contract. All right, after 15 days on the picket line and 11 days without school, the Newton teacher strike is finally over. The union and mayor were finally able to reach a tentative agreement on that new contract, and the kids will head back to school on Monday. As you can imagine, a big sigh of relief for teachers, parents, students, families. NBC 10's Mary Marcos live in Newton this morning. Mary, what needs to be done today to kind of lock down this deal? Well, the school committee is scheduled to take a vote on this at 10 o'clock this morning, and both sides will need to vote to really seal the deal. But the tentative agreement means kids will be back in class come Monday morning. A roughly two-week stalemate ended last night when the Newton Teachers Association and the school committee finally agreed on a contract. The negotiations wrapped up before a Sunday deadline in which the state would have increased fines to $100,000 per day. The four-year deal calls for increases in cost of living adjustments, up to 60 days of parental leave, more social workers, higher wage for paraprofessionals, and more prep time for teachers. The process was disruptive and frustrating for all involved. Some parents even filed lawsuits to get their kids back in school, but the mayor says this new contract is sustainable, affordable, and will not lead to any layoffs. We're all breathing a sigh of relief. We're certainly getting ready for Monday morning. But also, in the coming days, I ask for the help of everyone here in Newton in finding ways to reflect and reconnect, to learn from each other, and to heal. We taught our students not to be afraid. We taught them that when those in power try to take away your rights, they should stand up for themselves. Now, in all, students missed 11 days of school during this strike, and February vacation has been canceled to make up for some of those days. We're live in Newton this morning. Mary Marcos, NBC10 Boston.